What do you mean, action? Are we on right now, really? Seriously? Doing a series of pipe runs on schedule 80, two inch pipe. We did TIG roots, now we're doing multiple fills and caps with 7018. We're gonna do a 5G run today. This has a TIG root in it. I'm gonna do a fill pass and a cap in this position here. We're gonna be running the old 332 7018. I'm gonna run about 70 amps. I know that seems low to some of you, but again, this is a small bore pipe and it's gonna get hot real quick. I don't wanna overfill this. I do need a fill pass. And uh, so I'm gonna run about 70 amps. I'm running an ESOB 285 today, DCE P, P. So I'm gonna get things hooked up, we'll get to it. I started down here on bottom. I kind of violated my own rule of making that transition. Little height thing, but I started down here on bottom. I came up here and by the time I got to probably about 10 o'clock in here, I realized I could be in trouble. I'd like to be clear up here, but I wasn't able to get there comfortably. So I put the fill pass in. I've saved the edges. I had a little bit of a hump down here, so I touched it with the thin bladed grinder and shaped it a little bit so I have room to put my cap in. I want to attempt to get all my edges melted in and not be real tall in the cap. I, you know, I got to stay within the eighth, okay? Eighth of an inch reinforcement. Let's see how we go here. So again, really quick. I mean, we did a quick fill pass. We did a quick cap. It took about um, took about a half a rod to do this fill pass real quick, and I kind of got lost in my transition on the cap. I was able to slow down a little bit, and it ran pretty much the whole rod to come all the way to the top. 332, 7018. I ran about 70 amps. Okay, a couple cool products. I mean, I'm not selling this stuff, and I'm not. I just want to tell you how cool they are. This thing is actually designed for doing thin work on edge. It's cut off wheel, but it'll also grind down in there quickly. And then the encapsulated disc, you can get in here and get on the edge, put some, uh, this thing is not going to spit wires and stuff because it's encapsulated, but you can get into it pretty heavy and it won't flare the bristles out. I've had a lot of people ask about stuff that we're using on camera. so. I hope this helps out and I hope that, uh, you know, when you practice that you'll get really smooth, really good on this. Again, these things heat up really quick, so you got to watch your amperage. That's why I dropped mine way down to 70. I know that's kind of low, but hey, we're all good here. We're fused in pretty nice. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram.